Duke's entire defensive game plan against DJ Burns was atrocious. John Shire should not have a job ever again. Kyle Filipowski, I'm never unconnected to DJ Burns when he's on the block. I'm connected with my arms extended because he's setting a down screen here. So the guard can't curl. And then as soon as that screen gets set, so you just ignored that down screen. But I'm underneath, battling for a position, keeping him out. I can't front the post, one, because I don't have backside help. And then two, because when he sets a ball screen, you're not going to be able to guard this screen at all. You're gonna be, he's going to be screening two of you. So now everyone's late to get over the screen, and now he's left wide open. John Shire should be gone immediately after this game. I hedge the screen. The sideline is right here. All right, I have backside help right there for DJ Burns, which is very important. But the ball handler's going to have to pick his dribble up instantly. The sideline's right there, so Filipowski can easily recover back, push the backside defender back to the weak side of the floor. You have no backside help for DJ Burns. So Filipowski's got to go guard the ball, then scramble to guard Burns, not even close to ready to guard. A couple little jab steps and a shoulder into you, and that's two more. Jeremy Roach on this switch. Stop gambling, please. Look at all the help you have baseline. You're giving him the baseline anyways. So show your hands and make sure he's coming baseline. Get your hands off the NC State player. You're gambling right here. You got your hands on him. So as opposed to just forcing him right into that help baseline right here, you're going to let him spin off of you. You're actually overplaying towards the baseline, and that's two. First of all, Kyle Filipowski, there cannot ever be space between you and DJ Burns in the post. Up battling for position now. But this is where John Shire failed over and over and over again. McCain has got to come double here. All he's doing is getting that dribble picked up, not giving DJ Burns just endless amounts of time to ISO. You immediately rotate there with Jeremy Roach. Immediately rotate up. Once the dribble picks up, McCain's gone. Rotating back to the weak side of the floor, and the man at the block can come up to the wing. You're just going to, this is going to be over and over again. Look at DJ Burns, just on an island. It might as well just be one on one. You know how that's going to end. First of all, again, there's space. I should be, the low man's going to win here. Get low in battle, but the prop, John Shire doesn't understand. A double team does not mean you're sticking around forever. McCain going to double, all he's doing is just getting this dribble picked up, giving Filipowski a break. Go and dribble pick. Immediately there's a rotation to the strong side of the floor. Once the dribble's picked up, we're good. McCain's immediately gone. Everyone's going to rotate from there, and you go, McCain's going to end up at the opposite block. But again, this is just DJ Burns going one-on-one-on-one-on-one. On one on one on one. Why does Duke make this so hard? Do you know how to play? Stop gambling. Stop. You have help in the middle of the floor. You're giving them the middle of the floor anyways. So just show your hands, force the ball handle in the middle of the floor towards where your help is. Instead, you're gambling. So as you're gambling here, one jab step's going to have you flying the other way and open up a step back three. So this is just Duke being poorly coached. This is John Shire being a moron, a horrible basketball coach who will never lead Duke anywhere. Kyle, this is a down screen out of a baseline out of bounds. What's Filipowski doing? Connected to my man, arms extended. You can't let this, look at that. How is this defender supposed to get over the top of this screen? You're allowing the NC State guard to curl right off it. Right off it, too. That's John Shire. He is terrible. There is no reason to be giving the guard the lane. Again, the sideline is right there. Get up and hedge the screen. Filipowski's already standing in backside help waiting for Burns. Like, why am I giving the guard? Like, you could pull someone from the stands, and they would just come in the lane right here and be wide open and score. And one. This is unbelievable. Right out of the half, first of all, you just ignore DJ Burns coming through this cross screen. How is McCain not jamming him as he comes through this screen so Filipowski can get on the other side? So he's already catching this ball deeper than he should because he just casually ignored a cross screen. So he just destroyed us in the first half. It's halftime. The adjustment certainly was to double. Again, Roach, all you're doing is getting the dribble picked up. Down as soon as that happens, McCain's going to rotate, and then the man from the charge circle rotates up to the top of the key, and Roach would just rotate onto the man at the elbow. Or we can just watch this happen over and over again and get set home. Same exact thing. These rotations are not hard. McCain goes down there. You dribble picked up. 
Instantly, Jeremy Roach is rotating. Instantly, the man from the charge circle is rotating up to the elbow, and you're just coming back to the man at the elbow. That's it. We got to get the dribble picked up. Like, you might as well just take all eight of these players and put them off the floor and just have Burns go one on one with Filipowski. And it ends the same way. This is John Shire being terrible. Tyrese Proctor. No. Back to the baseline. Seeing ball, seeing man. That's how you play defense. Your back's to the sideline. Cannot have, and you're not even level to your man. Duh, you get beat back door. That's Shire and this awful coaching staff. So this pick and roll defense is just awful. Like you're just going to casually give up a wide open three because you're in drop coverage again. So but, uh, Tyrese Proctor, I guess you're staring at your team having atrocious ball screen defense. Like we got to see our man. You're not seeing your man in the corner again. You're not level to him again. And so now even after this wide open three is missed, it's pff, transition defense. Does Duke work on it? Doesn't look like it. God is John Shire, an awful basketball coach. You get back to people. Filipowski, we're all getting back. It doesn't. You get cross-matched all the time. You're getting back to a body. Watch three Duke players here in transition just get back to the middle of nowhere. To the absolute, look at this. And there's already someone guarding the ball. So you got three players standing around the middle of nowhere, open catch and shoot three. What is Kyle Filipowski doing? You standing in the charge circle aimlessly accomplishes nothing. You might as well be standing in the stands. Go and double. Get Brooks's dribble picked up. Instantly, you're going to rotate down and help the helper right here. That will not be available. You'll leave the weak side wing. But again, what we can rotate out of this. Once the dribble's picked up, you're just rotating there, rotating there, and then Filipowski comes up to the top. But, eh, how has there not been an adjustment made? How is this allowed? Okay, so DJ Burns sets a ball screen at the foul line. What are we doing about this ball screen? You could ice the screen, keep the ball handle to the sidelines. You have backside help right there for DJ Burns' roll. There's no place for him to roll to. You probably need to switch this screen. It is set so low, and then you can send help. Okay, you got to do something. And especially if you're going to do nothing here, McCain has to be in the gaps. I've got to be over up the line, getting this dribble picked up. Stunt, recover. You do nothing. The ball handler comes off the screen and is wide open. A homeless person could score on this Duke defense. Kyle Filipowski, you are wasting everyone's time by just standing in the charge circle aimlessly. You might as well go in the stands and watch if you're just going to do that. Get over and double. Get this dribble picked up. Stop having it be one-on-one -on -one all the time with Burns. You're going to rotate over here. That won't be available. As soon as the dribble's picked up, you're right back to your man, and the man that rotated up goes to the wing. Or if you go and double the man at the top of the key, can then rotate to the wing, and then you rotate up. Something! Like, you're just you're accomplishing nothing! I mean, it's the same thing. John Shire should not be allowed on the team plane coming home. He should not be allowed in, at Duke University anymore. He's awful. Again, it's, it burns again. Like, why are we not doubling? Double. Dribble picked up. Everyone's instantly rotating. You leave the man there in the weak side corner. Once the dribble's picked up, you're going to move immediately be bumping the man in the charge circle out to the weak side corner, and we're good. Like, I mean, again, John Shire sh should never be allowed to coach again. Never. He is atrocious. Here's Duke being poorly coached again. Like, you clearly don't work on this stuff. Clearly. DJ Burns is setting a cross screen. I must, if I'm guarding Burns, the screener, I must jam this NC State guard as he comes through to knock him off his spot so Tyrese Proctor can get on the other side. You don't touch him. You do not touch him. So right now, Proctor's going to be late getting over now. So now, look, not ready to guard. It's because you didn't guard that cross screen. Now he's off balance. One jab step will have him leaning the other way because he's off balance. Go the other way for two. Awful transition defense. And it's not Tyrese Proctor's fault. It's John Shire being a human pile of waste. If you're guarding the ball and you're Tyrese Proctor, I must communicate this. So Jeremy Roach knows to take Middlebrooks. That's how transition defense works. There's no such thing as transition defense without communicating. When you don't communicate, two state of the ball and Middlebrooks is wide open. This just can't be allowed. You know how many media timeouts there have been in the second half? Like, no. Why are we not doubling? I'm not staying forever. I got to get that dribble picked up. Jeremy Roach would immediately rotate over. You'll leave the man in the weak side wing. The man from the corner then, if that pass is made, rotates up and the man doubling just pushes Filipowski to the corner and he goes to the opposite block again. Here we go. Look at this. And John Shire just stands there and he'll have a job because, you know, Mike Idiot Shushevsky hired him.
Oh, here's Duke being poorly coached again. This is a down screen. You clearly don't go over this. Tyrese Proctor cannot go up the gut of this down screen. Chase off his hip. Jeremy Roach stays attached with his arms extended so the NC State player can't curl. Tyrese Proctor goes up the gut. Jeremy Roach isn't showing with his arms extended, and that couldn't be easier. Okay, so you don't want to double, right? That's clear. You're down 12, you're going to lose anyways, right? Because John Shire's a complete waste of space. How about we at least keep DJ? Can we please rotate down? Like, can we at least get in the gaps here? About halfway between the ball and the three-point line and guarding the post. Just all, your only job is then to keep DJ Burns the middle of the floor, right? We can stunt, we can recover and get his dribble picked up. But Tyrese Proctor doesn't rotate down. The man guarding DJ Burns lets him spin baseline. And John Shire is human waste.